Hey guys, in the theme of the recent videos I've been doing just on kind of general knowledge of game mechanics, I've decided to do one on cash earning because there was a couple oh, there was a couple questions on that. Uh, this is mainly to cover the point of income cuts because like a lot of people don't know what they are. Um, a lot of people know they exist but don't know what they mean and so on. There's, there's a lot of confusion about this because it's not explained anywhere. Uh, it's just kind of something that you don't really need to know, but it's nice to know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and basically what this is, is income cuts are certain points in the game in which you start earning less cash from pops. And this is just a balancing mechanic because once you start getting different mob class balloons, basically you get way too much cash from these. And <laughs> and if you didn't get these cuts, the game would be way too easy and just no fun. Just, yeah. So, I guess we'll cover the basic stuff first. As you can see, if I place this dart monkey... Okay, so I'm just gonna place this quickly and this because I'm... I like to use these to test this particular thing. And we'll get to that shortly. But for now, I want to set my cash to zero. So we can see, when I send a red balloon, I get $1 from that. When I send a blue balloon, I get $1, then $2. And for three total, it, this is how the game functions, basically. You get $1 for every pop, which means, like, a pink balloon, it has five layers, it's worth $5. And this makes sense, right? This changes when you get to ceramic balloons, because... Well, it doesn't change, but you'll notice a difference because I damaged it, but I didn't get any money. And it doesn't, I don't my money doesn't actually go up until I actually pop it open. And if you know RBE in this game, the RBE of a ceramic is 104. And RBE is just like the number of single dart projectiles it takes to pop open a balloon, uh, to completely destroy a balloon, sorry. If, if they had one pierce, let's imagine. <laughs> that term was made up in BCD5 or maybe four, when they had one pierce. They now have two pierce, which makes it more confusing, but, but <laughs> whatever, it's, it's, we're not going to rename RBE, right? Uh, so yeah. So the ceramic has 104 RBE, and it gives you $95 when it's completely destroyed. This is because of the ceramic layer, which has 10 health. The first nine, uh, the first nine damage you do to it doesn't give you any money. The tenth shot, which actually breaks open the ceramic layer, does give you money. And this is the same for Moabs, which we'll get to now. And I like to test this with the Pirate Lord. Uh, not the Pirate Lord, sorry, the Monkey Pirates. Pirate Lord doesn't work because it gives you double cash. Because of a change in, I think, 3.0, which now makes these show, like, they display a pop-up showing the money they gave you. So if I hook it, 381. And that is, that's total money you get from it, simple. <laughs> it's a really easy way to test with no outside interference. So, this is simply, like, even though the MOAB itself has 200 health, the first 199 hits on it don't give you any money. It's only that final hit that gives you money. So all the money's coming from the children inside. Um, top layer's worth nothing. It's, it's the children that are worth everything. Um, that's where you get all the money from. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, <clears throat> so... Uh, and yeah, we can see this if we send a, a BFB. If I hook this, 1,525, which is quite a lot more, but the actual BFB itself is still only worth $1. It's the four Moabs inside, which are also worth $1, and all the, the children they contain that give you this high value. And But in, in the regular game, you'll never actually get this much from a BFB because of income cuts. Uh, and BFBs come after income cuts. So let's actually talk about those now. And actually, I do want money. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll set this back to zero again. Very helpful. So we know that we get one dollar from one red balloon, right? And let's see, I was dumb and I set my spacing up, but what I should have set was my round up. So if I set my round to 51, and I send a red balloon, 
pops it and I get zero. And if I send a second red balloon, pops it and I get one dollar. So this is because the first income cut takes place at round 51 when you get half cash. So I, I did actually get half, half a dollar from the first balloon. We just don't display decimals in BTD6. Uh, but the second balloon, which gave me the other half, then took me up to one. So yeah, round 51 onwards, we get half cash from more balloons. And since another Moab, hook that quickly. As you can see, 191. Um, and if I send another red balloon now, I'll probably get up to 192 because... Yeah, there seems to be a bit of a rounding error there. So it displayed 191, but it actually gave me 190.5. Um, so it rounded that up. And my cash actually only went up there. It's a minor visual issue, but I didn't realize that happened. So something I might have to look into. Anyway. So yeah, we get, we get half cash here. And next one is round 61. So if I send... Well, not send, but set to round 61. Send my Moab again. We, act, we got 76 this time. Send another red balloon to make sure it was, it's not a decimal. Okay, so it, it is a bit of a decimal. <laughs> so, at round 61, we now receive 20% income. This is 80% reduced, so it takes us five red balloons to get one dollar. If, if I set this back to zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Nothing, nothing, and this one should give me a dollar. There we go. <laughs> so one-fifth cash. We're still earning loads because by this point we're getting lots of Moabs, which have so many children that you just, you get rich because that many children, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. Round 86 is our next one, 86, and I cancelled it because I'm dumb. Moab, hooked, 38. So now we're at 10% of normal income. We're getting one tenth. It takes us 10 red balloons to get one dollar. Five, four, and one. $1. And this is the last one you'll see in regular gameplay. So until round 100, we receive 10... Well, we are from here until round 100 receiving 1 tenth. Simple. And then, of course, round 101. We are in full free play in every possible way. Send a Moab. We get $8. <laughs> So, big jump here. We have dropped all the way down to 2% of normal cash value. We need a lot of loons. <laughs> okay, so it's like, sorry, one tenth and then one fifth of that. So, my one, <laughs> I, I, I cannot math right now. <laughs> I am so tired. Ugh, but yeah, I will link to the Bloons Wiki here with a with a full list on all of these income cuts. These are from BTD. These are all taken from BTD five, but yeah, it's this it's the same between both games. So this knowledge will apply to BTD five as well as BTD six. And just for fun, send a homage and. Come on, hook it. Oh, that's right, I need a pirate lord. Whoops. Oh my gosh. And we get our pirate lord, and we hook this. 244, that was doubled because we had pirate lords, so it's actually 122, which is not that much. <laughs> but, drop back down to 50. Set this back to zero. Send our zombie again. Let it get on a little bit because we want to see that pop up. And there, one f uh, <laughs> twelve thousand two hundred and two. <laughs> That's a it's, yeah, it's huge there. 
and the number I was thinking about before was 150th, wasn't it? Cool. <laughs> Obviously. So, this is income cuts. Simpler. Simple. Um, there's nothing more to say on income cuts, really, but, yeah. If you want to have a handy guide on this, I will link that page to the wiki in the description. Um, it's just, this is the only place I've really seen the guide listed, so hey. Uh, also, if you want to know, I've, I've actually mentioned this before, but yeah, if you want to if you want to know the round by round how much cash you'll get, uh, Topper has made an awesome list of all the bloons in the game, and what rounds they're on, and how much cash you'll earn from that round. It's a super cool thing, it's a super cool tool to just have on you if you're really serious about the game and and going well, I guess. You don't need to know this stuff, but I, I mean, especially if you like making your own challenges, it's really good to know. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helps you out, and I'll see you around.